Hello and welcome back guys, so today we are going to be playing some Destiny, again, I, uh, Destiny is a great game, I love Destiny, so um, this will load when we're loading, that look good, yeah that looks good, alright, so we got a couple upgrades I just now saw, got a secret handshake, that's the name of the gun, that's an amazing gun, that's an amazing gun name. So what's your gun called? Oh, you know, secret handshake. Well, what if I don't want to do the secret handshake? Well, too bad. You got to do it to be able to get it. Awesome sauce. That gun is fully upgraded. Awesome. I like that. I still need more Hertronic S. Or no, I need heli Helium Filaments. I know where to find them, but it's so annoying because you don't find them everywhere. You just find them a little bit here and a little bit there. And then when you do find them, you'll only get like five of them. Why is there nothing on my mini map? Is that it? Okay. So we are going to be doing the third mission of the Dark Below. It is called The Awakening. It is in the Ocean of Storms on the Moon. You can get a Cryptarch Enneagram and up to and at least 4,000 XP bonuses. So, yeah, let's do it. Launching in 2, 1, 0. That was a really fast countdown. I didn't see it in time. I didn't think about doing it in time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so guys, I live in the what you would consider the South. And, uh... Turn it up a little bit so you can hear the cutscene. We failed. You cannot destroy the soul of Crota. Yeah, I know you probably couldn't hear that too well, but... But, um, so... I live in what you would consider the South. Like, most people would consider the, the South. where we first saw Crota. Go, find it, and make it his grave. Alright, but um, I know I'm saying this a lot, but it's because there's a lot of um, uh, I'm just saying it, yeah. But anyways, I live in what you, most people consider fairly southern, a fairly southern state. I'm not going to name it just because I, I don't really want to because of privacy reasons. But um, we hid in the old moon base up ahead, waiting for the right time to strike. We were brave, but we were not ready. And it's supposed to be like 17 degrees Fahrenheit in the morning. Now for a lot of northern people, I don't know how many northern people watch my videos, but for those of you who live in the north, you guys are probably thinking to yourselves, really, why, why, are, the, why are they acting like that? Because... We actually are have a three hour delay in the morning for school, for the high school at least. Hide, waiting in ambush. It was worse for the ones who made it inside. Stay alive. But we have a delay for school in the morning because it's going to be cold. It's kind of annoying, really, but. I can't do that. And uh, it's it's kind. Of, I love. Don't get me wrong. I I love delays because that means I don't have to go to school. But I think it's kind of weird and dumb that there's a delay because it's cold. But yeah, that's. That's my opinion. I mean, I love to haze, don't get me wrong. Because, you know, no school and the whole... No school and all that good stuff. That's always good. You can never go wrong with that. I mean, unless you've been out of school for like two weeks, but that's a little, it's a little far. But it's really weird. I mean, it's not really weird, but I think it's funny. 
because down here you say you might get some snow like maybe there might be a slight chance for snow and everybody goes crazy buys goes to the store and buys milk and bread I don't know why milk and bread I mean they're gonna make milk sandwiches apparently but that's what they all buy and it's kind of really weird but down but yeah down here you say you might get snow and everybody freaks out but up in the north you say you're gonna have snow I think it's funny I don't know how the north does because I've really never been there like for a long period of time or in the snow but from what I've heard tell me if I'm wrong because I really don't know much about the north but uh it's you hear snow and you're like oh great another thing to make it so it's harder for us to get around I mean I don't know how hard it is but I imagine you know putting on all the snow stuff for your car because I know you guys up there you're here's like oh what could he do God I don't care but uh in the in the south everybody freaks out they got to go to the store and raid the store milk and butter only for some reason only milk and butter but they go there they raid the store and everybody's freaking out you have like delays and closings and all this other stuff and it's 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 stupid really i mean honestly my my opinion is it's really stupid But, uh, yeah. Because, I mean, you look at the North, they're like, oh, yay, snow. Like, my dad, he went up there for a business thing one day because he had to go up there and do all this stuff for a business that he had. Or not that he has, but that he works for. And there was, like, 10 feet of snow, and the windshield was, like, negative. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. How am I alive? Holy crap. But the, there was like 10 feet of snow, like a massive wall of snow on either side. And everybody there was just like chilling around and stuff and acting like it was a normal, completely normal day. And then all of a sudden, they finally closed schools up there because it was like negative 42 with the wind chill. It was crazy. But it was, then all of a sudden he came back down here and he was like, wow, it's really warm down here. And it was like 32 degrees for us. And for us, that's like freezing, okay? Like we're about to die freezing type of cold. But yeah, I just, I think it's so, I think it's kind of funny how different the regions can be with different temperatures. I really don't like this noise right now. And that makes me scared. I know that sound. Hurry. Yep, I really don't like that sound. A lot of enemies here. Oh, I could have gotten a double. I just really hope they feel Oh no. I love doing this. Whenever one of them. Well, let's see if I can get another one towards me. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. No. Fly, fly away. <laughs> no. Stupid man, blocked it. The exit. Oh, there it is. Oh, I gotta go in here. Can I make it? Can I? No. 
Yes, I made it. Like a boss. Alrighty, so we're supposed to go this way. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, but that is a deep hole. It's a deep hole, guys. Don't go in there. Yeah, I like. I really don't like that sound. The ritual has begun. Okay, so that must be Crota. Oh crap. this thing. I've defeated one of the- oh crap, what's that? Oh, that was amazing. I just got all of them. One grenade. That was that was beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie. That was beautiful. Oh crap. One grenade. All of what the heck? I saw like an arm flopping around. There are more of them. Oh, okay, no. No, I really wish you could like pick up these swords that are on these racks. No, I missed. Dang it. Okay, I need to change this. Go hurry up. Oh, sweet, that machine. No idea what I was just getting shot at with, but I almost died. I hate those things, they're so annoying. They're like,
that work? I hate, I really don't like those things. Because they're like, they're oh. All right. Two shots. They're still trying to kill me. Those things are terrifying. So much ammo. Making sure everybody, everything's full. <laughs> you know you've played this a lot when you have to make sure everything's full before you go into a dark room. I really don't like these sounds. Like, I'm, if something was to jump, oh my. Darkness, no. I really don't.